so guys we are continuing in question number 10 here the so question 10 said that we have to prove that that the length of the loop of the curve this this curve first is this much 4a upon root 3 this is 4a upon root 3 not 4a into root 3 but 4a upon root 3 so this we have to prove here now what what is the curve here curve will be of the shape let me just draw a rough idea of this because here 0 0 point and a 0 this can be the curve here this kind of curve will be this is x axis here point is a 0 this is 0 0 origin o and that this is a point y and y dash actually this is x dash this kind of curve there or if i know this is a uh, uh, here can we have no no action protein there but the only this kind of curve is there okay so this curve length of this loop we have to find out length of this loop can be twice of this length because total loop is this so length of this point to this point let me take o this is b point o b a twice of o b a will give us length of this curve okay length of this curve which we find out so let solution we are finding out the given curve is symmetric about axis of x as y is even power okay and putting y equal to 0 y equal to 0 this implies x into x minus a whole square equal to 0 or x equal to 0 and x equal to a that means the curve meets the x axis at point 0 0 and a 0 a 0 and a 0 at the point uh, okay 0 0 and a 0 so uh, ordinates will be x equal to 0 to x equal to a this is the point so d by dx we have to find out from this given equation so let me find out d by dx differentiating first with respect to x let me take so we get okay this is 3 <coughs> okay so this is 3a by uh, it will be 6ay let me take so this is 6ay into d by dx differentiating with respect to x here now it can be in differentiated by product rule so this is what first is let me take x minus a whole square x differentiation is 1 and then plus now x minus a whole square is to be differentiated so this twice x into x minus a okay now further let me solve it it can be if i take x minus a common or let me open this hole it will be if i open this hole it will be x square minus twice a x plus a square and this is plus twice x square this one minus twice ax minus twice ax this one okay so it will give us 3x square minus 4ax plus a square okay so if i factorize this okay before factorizing this let me divide so d by dx therefore d by dx is equal to 3x square minus 4ax plus a square divided by 6ay. It is 6ay. Okay, so we have to find out d by dx whole square. So that will be if I just factorize the numerator, let me factorize the numerator here. So factorization of the numerator will give us 3x square minus 3ax plus ax plus a square if i factorize this equal to 0 let take 3x common it will be x minus a x minus 3 oh, okay x minus a only plus i'm sorry this is minus ax okay minus ax only because this is minus 4 ax here it must be minus 3x minus ax sorry this is minus a common now this is x minus a 0 so x minus a 
into 3x minus a are the factors of this equation. So let me now write this as this is 3x minus a into x minus a whole square for the x minus a only in the numerator divided by this is 6a y. Now we have to find out 1 plus d by dx whole square y because this will be required for finding the length of the arc of this loop. So for that 1 plus d by dx whole square is required. That is, let me write here, this is 1 plus d by dx whole square is the whole square of this. This is nothing but 3x minus a whole square. This is x minus a whole square divided by this is 36 a square into y square. Now let me write here. If I write it here, then the space is there. Okay, so let me find this value. So we are calculating 1 plus d by dx whole square. Okay, that is giving us this is 1 plus 3x minus a whole square into x minus a whole square with the whole square of d by dx divided by if I write it as 12 into 3, 36 means 12 into 3 into or let me take 12a into 3a y square because this is 3a y square it is 36a square y square so 36a means 12 into 3 12a into 3a means 36a square simple that are divided into these two parts then what is this value 3a y square is equal to this let me replace that value is 3x minus a whole square into x minus a whole square divided by let me now put up this we have come to that this is the loop so loop of the length of the loop we have to find out now this is 12a now in place of 3a y square from first we can substitute x into x minus a whole square this x minus a whole square x minus a whole square mentioned out so this is 12 a x only okay so now let me further solve it the length of the arc will give us therefore s we have to find out now therefore s length of the arc or length of the loop here length of the loop is equal to twice sign of integration 0 to a why twice because we are finding out this this length only and this length will also be added up below length this one okay let me write here like this this was a loop okay so this loop if i find out from this point to this point this length only and twice of that will give us the total length okay so this is the square root of let me write 1 plus this value 3x minus a whole square divided by 12ax okay this whole 1.2 power into ds this is the length of the loop we are calculating twice of this okay so now if i solve it in the under the square root value 0 to a this is nothing but 12ax plus this is 3x minus a whole square that means 9x square plus a square minus 6ax all that divided by 12ax whole, whole 1.2 power into dx now whole square this whole square we have opened so what we get here this is twice 0 to a now here it is 9x square plus 6xy 12 as positive and minus 6 as so it will be 9 x square plus 6 ax plus a square divided by 12 ax whole 1.2 power which will give us okay so it gives us s equal to we are calculating length of the loop is twice 0 to a 
If in the numerator we have 3x plus a, 3x plus a whole square, try to understand, divided by 12ax. Now 12a, if I take outside, let me write first 12ax, and this is whole 1.2 power into dx. Now, taking the square root of numerator and denominator separately, that will give us twice into this 12a, let me take outside after square root, it will be 2 root 2 under root a also, or well, this is square root a, 12a taken outside, it is now 0 to a, the numerator we will get 3x plus a only because whole square and this whole power half cancelled out. 3x plus a divided by under root x on a into dx. Okay, so this is what we have obtained this point. Total 1 plus this value. <coughs> it is giving us now, let me further solve it. So this 2 to cancel out, this is 1 upon under root 2 into a or under root a, okay, square root a. Now this is giving us 0 to a. Now if I divide this each term by under root x, it will be 3 root x, y, because x power 1 and this is half power, we divide it. This is plus a into x is power minus half into whole dx okay now integrating this the integration of this will give us this integration will give us 3 into x raised power this is a half power so it will be 3 by 2 power because half plus 1 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2 3 3 cancel out it 2 will come in the numerator plus here it is a into x raised power minus half plus 1 means plus half divided by plus half or 1.2 this is the value 0 to 8. It will give us 1 upon the root 2a. <coughs> now here it is twice. Let me write twice into x raised power 3 by 2. That is twice a into x raised power half limits 0 to 8. Okay, so limit a only we have to substitute. Now this 2 and 2. Okay, this 2 cancel out. But in this case, this 2, if I take outside, it will come out as 2 upon, so it will be under root 2 upon under root a. From inside, we will get, this is important point here. If I put a in place of x, we will get here x only, sorry, a only, because a raised power 3 by 2 is a root a, sorry, a root a. This is a square root a. Why? Because this is a raised power 3 by 2. Plus this is twice a into a half, that means a root a. This will also be there. So this 2 we have taken outside, this 2 has come outside, so this is under root a, 2 upon under root a. Okay, so only limits have been applied. It will give us twice a, okay, 1 under root a cancel out, so this is nothing but twice 2 under root 2, 2 under root 2, okay, into a. So s equal to it has been to prove 4a upon root 3 it is coming out. 4a upon okay, I'm sorry. What I've done? This is 2 root 3 only. I'm sorry. So the square root of 12 is 2 root 3. I'm sorry. This is 2 root 3 into the root a. Sorry. So this is root 3 only in the denominator. I'm so sorry. Here it is 2, so only 2 cancelled out, but it is 1 point root 3 into root a. I'm sorry, this is root 3 into root a. Here 
it will be done twice. Okay, so 2 we have taken outside, this is 2 upon root 3 into root a. And from here, this is twice a root a now. If I take it outside, so the answer is finally obtained. This is 4, 2 to the 4, root a root a cancel out to 4a upon square root 3. This is the value which we have to calculate. So hence the value is obtained 4a upon square root 3. This is the value of length of the loop, the total length of the loop here. That loop by the and 12 square root is 4 into 3, we can add 12 as square root of this will be 2 root 3. So this value I just miss misquoted. I'm sorry for this. This is 2 root 3, not root 2 root 2. It's 2 root 3 because this is root 3 is there. Square root 3 was miss misquoted by me. I'm sorry. This is the answer here. So total answer is this obtained. Alright, so this value which is this important one, this we have to apply. Let me write this question here. This is 2 into x raised power 3 by 2, 2a x raised power 1.2. This value is of the arc, length of the arc. Okay, so this question we have to use in question number 11 also, I think. 11th question is what? The question 11 says, for the curve, the same curve, which is in the 10th one, 3a y square is equal to x into x minus a whole square, the same thing. Show that we have to show here, this is 11th question. <coughs> okay, to show here, to show that 3s square, this is 3s square is equal to, this is 4 x square plus 3 into y square. This we have to prove here, where s is the length of the arc measured from the origin to the point x, y on the curve. So only in place of x coordinate a there was, we took a there, here we are taking only x in place of a, okay. So this a, this, this one, this was the result of question number 11 up to this point. We will just copy out the same point here. Okay, this one. Here the limit will be only 0 to x. That is the only point here that we have to apply. Let me take up to this point the same value. After that, we will solve it. Okay, so what is the solution of that? We will have to carry this as uh, they say 3s square equal to we will square it then. Okay, then we can get something. So let me square that value. Okay, so solution. Here the curve is same as the 10th question. Here curve is 3a y square is equal to x into x minus a whole square. This is the curve here. Same curve 3a y square is equal to x into x minus a whole square. Now show that this from this from the same curve as 11th one. Okay, the curve is here. This now this result which we have to use. Which I have saved up to now. So this question let me take from question number 11 or question 10. We have got the length of the arc, or oh sorry, length of the loop, length of the loop S is equal to this value I'm writing here. 1 upon, this is, uh, let me take root 3 or under root a, root 3, on 1 upon root 3a, within bracket it is 2 into x raised power 3 by 2, plus this is 2 into a into x raised power <coughs> 1 upon 2, now 0 to x here. So limits we have taken because here it says from 0, 0 to measure from the origin to the point x so y. So x coordinate is x here only on the curve. So that's why you are taking 0 to x. Now from this let me further solve it. 
to get that result 3x square is equal to 4x square plus that value. Okay. So after putting x, the same value will be obtained because in place of x, we are putting x only. This is nothing but 1 for under root 3 into a or this 2 we can take outside this is twice. This is x raised power 3 by 2 plus this is a into x raised power half. This is the value. Okay, so if I just take y square because that value was x here. So this is if I square it, okay, if I square it or if I take unroot x common out of the bracket, let me take unroot x common from this point. It will be 2 upon root 3 and root a and root x are taken common, so this will be x only plus a. This is x plus a here. Now let me whole, whole square this. With squaring this is s equal to squaring both sides. With squaring both sides of this equation. This will let me take second equation here. This is the first one. Okay, so second equation is squaring both sides of second b get it will be s square equal to 4 into s upon 3a. Now it is x plus a whole square. Okay, so x plus a whole square. We can write it as, and if I write it as x minus a whole square, then what it will be? So let me write it further. S square is equal to this is 4x upon 3a. Now this can be written as x minus a whole square if I write. Then what we have added extra? We have added extra as minus. <coughs> From this we will get plus 2x, but here it is minus 2x. So for that we have to add 4ax. Okay, this is 4ax. All right, so 4ax we have to take this. So square root. Okay, so 4ax, this is now multiplying inside this value. Sorry, this one. 4x into this value. That will give us something. This equation we are in place of x plus a whole square, we are written down. This x minus a whole square plus 4ax. The same value x plus a at whole square will be obtained. So from this, now let me do this. So this is 4x into x minus a whole square. Multiplying this inside of 3a, let me take off this side. 3a into x square. 3a into x square. All right, okay, plus this value now, 4x into 4ax, this is 16 into a into x square, 16 into a into x square, right, okay, now if I write here the value of x into x minus a whole square which is 3a by square let me write here this is 4 into x <coughs> sorry 4 into from first equation this is 4 into 3a into y square since 3a y square is equal to x into x minus a whole square from first this is from first in place of x into x minus a whole square we have substituted 3a into y square from this equation first one okay so this is the value 
plus 16 into a x square. If I divide by a x by sorry a throughout or 3 because 4 also is out what we have to prove here 3 into a okay so it's 4 x square so by a if I divide by 4 also it's coming out this is 3 x square is equal to 4 into 12, 4 let me take outside, it is 3 a 3 by square, ok this is 4 into by 4 is out, ok this is the length of the loop, what the curve here we are doing, it was 4 into x into this, so 4 if I take common, this is coming out as 4 into by square into 4 and this is 4 x square ok this is 4 x square plus 3 into y square that value is coming out it is 3 x square upon 4 y 4 is coming that is ok so in the denominator we were having I think 2 root 2 was there in the denominator this 4 is coming only so this relationship 3 x square 3x square equal to 4x square plus 3 by square is coming. Only the problem is that why this uh, okay a b have taken squaring this whole value. We got 3a in the denominator and this 2 which we took that was 4 and under root x was x. That was the point here. So one mistake is there that why 4 times it is coming. Because this is 3x square equal to 4x square. Okay, so 4x square, 3x square equal to 4x square for 3y square. Where s is the length of the arc measured from the origin to the point x, y on the curve. It means the whole curve will be the 4 times of this curve. Why it is 4 is coming then? Because 4 is mistaken. Okay, so the point 4 is not obvious because 3s square is equal to if I divide by a, a and a cancel out. So the 16 so 4 we have to take common that we take for 4x square. This 4x square and this is 3y square. Alright. That is coming here. But why 4 times? It means here 4 was there. This 4 4 cancel out. It, it means 12 was coming here. So let me check whether this is proper one or four from from where for the question right or something wrong let me check it <coughs> three x square so the question is four x square we are doing okay so four x square one point two and the root three so it was coming here one point two and the root three the two two was cancelled out okay All right, this two was. I'm sorry, this four was not coming. But here it was, two upon root three. So two two was cancelled out. The problem was here. The four was not coming. The reason was that one point it was one point two root three a. One point two root three a. So this four and this four which was taken common. This is the value here. 12 we have taken common, it was 2 into x equal 3 by 2 plus 2 into a into x 1.2, that value was common. Then square, so this 2 to take common, this was equal to s, so s equal to 0 to x limit, this was the point, I'm sorry, so from this point we had to continue. In this case, this 2 to is cancelled out, so this 2 if I take common, 2 and root x let me take common, this is x plus a then, okay, so this 
uh, a okay under root x are taken two under root x are taken common divided by two under root three into a this two cancelled out sorry because of that this point was there now square it was uh, three into a into x square this three a are taken this side this is x into within bracket it is that I then substituted as x minus a whole square plus four a x okay this was x plus a whole square which I did whole square so we obtained this as 3a because under root a whole square cancel out this is x only and here it was okay one step I have mistaken let me <coughs> do this so here this 2 2 was cancelled out because 12 is square root was 2 under root 3a all right because then s square is equal to this is x here this was x plus a whole square divided by 3a now this is 3a s square is equal to now this i change into x minus a whole square plus 4ax that's the point because the limits were here 0 to now okay 0 to x here this 0 to x b2 okay that i've changed here so this is the point now it is the same question so this was uh, okay, change multiply it into this was x into x minus a whole square plus so this was 4a into x square. Now, this x into x minus a whole square is changed into so <coughs> okay, okay, what the point? This is 3a x square is equal to now x into x minus a whole square is 3a y square plus this is 4a x square all right now we see here a if i divide this will be 3x square equal to 4x square plus 3 by square now it's okay same value you obtained so here it was 1.2 root 3a i'm sorry oh okay so we can continue this from question number 10 half midway the same question is repeated here but the the proof was different we have to prove here in terms of uh, this length of the arc s square this is 3 s square equal to a cancel out all right so the point was here that s equal to 1 upon 2 root 3 a this was 1 upon 2 root 3 a with the bracket it was 2 into x to the power 3 by 2 plus 2 a into x to the power half okay this was the point from here we have to take two common because this was 12 